welcome to Android Central, my name is Alex Doby. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit unusual because I'm joined not just by myself, but also by three other people from the Android Central team. we got Jerry, who of course some of you already know. Jerry's been around on the AC team for years and years. Our main guy when it comes to root stuff and hacking and all that good, uh, all that goodness. we got Harish, AC's India editor. And we got Ara from the Weekend News team. And we're going to talk today about rooting Androids. Is rooting still relevant in 2019? Is it something that you should still do if you buy an expensive flagship phone? What are the benefits? What are the reasons why you shouldn't? Um, Jerry, I guess I'm just going to kick off with you. What, just to start us off, what is rooting? Like, when you talk about rooting, what are you physically doing to your phone? You're making a change in the software so you have administrator permissions for every area of your phone. That's what it is in a nutshell. You, you can change anything you want, for the good or the bad. Hmm. And what are those good things that people, especially back in the early days of Android, routing was pretty much necessary to do things that every, everyday people might want to do. Yeah, it, I mean, tethering, that, that was always a big one. Uh, hmm. Carriers would block tethering. You couldn't tether with your phone. Uh, carriers shipped notoriously horrible apps that you couldn't stop from starting up every time you moved your phone and... They would eat up your resources and were just bad all around. Uh, and, you know, anything you could think of that, that maybe you didn't like on an older phone you may have had, that's what people rooted for to get rid of it and mm -hmm. try to put what they thought was better on there. And updates as well, right? Android yeah. phones are still, a lot of them carry a, um, carries are still pretty slow with updates. Back then, maybe someone got the latest version of Android out for your phone right. before the official update. And this was a way to do that, especially when you had like some carrier versions were on a different um, platform level to others, and you could root to get I, around that. I totally failed because that's the important reason. Yeah, that's why I used to do it. Exactly, that was that was my reason as well, and, and especially back in the day when you could, um, you know, you had HTC, which had its own very deep Android skin, and you had the Nexus phones, which were very similar. Um, right. You could get someone to maybe port of the Nexus ROM, or someone actually built an entire phone image from open right. source Android, or you could just put the latest version of Android on your phone. Now it requires a lot more finagling to, to do that yeah. because of the way Android works these days. But by um, the same stroke, I mean, ROMs have also gotten a lot better over the last five or eight years because sure. we've also seen a lot of standardization. The same phones, all, most of the flagship phones are using the same processors these days, whereas mm -hmm. there were a lot more hardware differences. Between we don't have our, our TI, TI OMAPs anymore. Yeah, no. So Harish, did you ever like play around with routing phones back in the day? Yeah, I started out with the Nexus 4, I think, because back in the day, there were actually even more, there was actually even more variety. Um, interestingly, I put Xiaomi's MIUI on the Nexus 4 because back then, yeah, <laughs> because back then it had... I mean, we left, but that was a huge thing. That even yeah. before Xiaomi was making hardware, yeah. the UI was, yeah, was out there. As... There were features there you couldn't get any other way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting. And even now, there's a huge uh, development community around mods in countries like India because not only the updates, but um, we still have phones that are powered by MediaTek chipsets, mm -hmm. and they never see any updates. So it's well, the community around modding is a way of getting people to getting people more options mm -hmm. how about you are um i rooted my nexus 7 and then hard bricked it trying Ooh. to unroot it uh <laughs> so that's... way back in the day um i also rooted my nexus 5x a few years back in order to try out uh substratum and some other rooting uh root theming because i'm I'm huge on rooting and customizing android to make it look better and root theming was something i'd always heard about and heard a lot of good things about but it just wasn't worth mm -hmm. the hassle. I mean, I've never really been huge on rooting because most of the, by the time I got really into Android, I could tether from my phone easily. Mm -hmm. It was relatively stable. Yeah, there were apps I didn't like, but the, I could disable all of them and get them to not start up again. So I never really felt like root was that necessary to me. I get why it's there, and I like that it's there because it helps bring new, fun features to the table. And uh, the root customizations that we see out there are often the basis of things that will eventually come to mm -hmm. everybody else. And this is something quite interesting because back in the day, Android was, I don't want to say limited, but it was pretty limited compared to where Android is now. There are a lot of th things that you couldn't do. You talked about theming before. Tethering was a big thing for a long time. Yeah. And now I think a lot of the reason why people don't bother with roots quite so much is because you can just do a lot of this stuff in Android, right? Mm -hmm. Android, a lot of OEM skins and even, you know, starting to get into stock Android itself with Android Q, you have a night mode now. Um, 
you know, you have theming options built into Android, whereas you simply didn't before, right? Yeah, um, we've had the the non-root theming has been just expanding and expanding over the last five years, and now it's gotten to the point where I don't need to I don't need to root a phone in order to get a good dark theme and get a good UI that I like. I just need to buy a phone that I like. If I uh, I got the one plus uh, one plus six T and the theming for that is just drop dead simple. Turn on the night theme and pick your accent color and you're good. Fantastic, yeah. And Jerry, so we, we talked about breaking phones. That's one thing that can go wrong <laughs> yeah. if you try and root a phone. Um, what are the other things, right? Because when you're when you're giving yourself so much control, uh, that can make things go wrong with other apps, especially things that rely on online services, DRM, yes. anything to do with security, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, Android Pay is, is the first big example. Uh, that's Your bank doesn't want you to be able to change certain files on your phone. Uh, that's for your own safety. You may not like it. I personally don't like it, but I understand why there are... Uh, Alex mentioned DRM, uh, music and movie studios. Netflix, yeah. Netflix hates. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Very picky about how their you know, product is distributed and they don't want you to be able to make copies and redistribute it yourself. Uh, I can see gamers rooting in order to try and get advantages for things like Fortnite yes. and PUBG, but then again, we also well, have, you get banned for those uh, they really, also really have, quickly. Yeah, because there's a DRM component right. there mm-hmm. as well, right? But yeah, the, a, a lot of gamers root so they can, uh, you know, edit the save files, and that there, there still are a few good reasons to, to root your phone, but... And there are still a lot of popular kernels out there as well. That, yes. That they like, up performance and, and stuff yes, like that. Yes, uh, people, you know, there, there are always people who love... PC hardware. Well, our phones are basically tiny PCs now. Yeah. They want to get the most out of the, the processor or, you know, make more RAM available for them to use. Well, you root your phone and you can make that happen. You know, there, there's a lot of good there and a, a, a lot of expert reasons. I'll use that word. You know, people like to be experts with their hardware. So let's yeah. talk about your own phones for a second are you are you rooting anything that you currently own or do you have just like secondary devices that you tinker around with because i feel like the way root is right now and the way um this you know, the consequences if it's on your personal device like you can't use netflix you can't use android pay uh, google pay um potentially if if that is a like a hobbyist thing which for a lot of people right. it is maybe you just have a secondary device that's completely that's, for that that's... google's next uh, google's pixel devices are still very hacker friendly right right that, that's what I do. I, uh, my phone that I carry every day, you know, I, I don't do anything that would endanger my online safety and security. But I do have a, a Pixel 2 that, you know, it's, it's there. If I see something that catches my eye that maybe somebody in, at XDA Forms has cooked up for it, I'll, I'll try it. That's what it's for for me. So, Harish, how long has it been since you rooted a phone? Because I want to say, like most of us, maybe you're not so much into that stuff anymore. Uh, I think I probably root more than most because of the fact that I use a lot of Samsung's mid-range Galaxy J and Galaxy okay. A phones. So there's still a big community around rooting yes. those things? Yes, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, because most of these phones barely see one update. Wow. And, and because it's a mid-range Samsung phone, the hardware isn't particularly powerful. So it out of the box, the interface is laggy. Hmm. So it, the I think right now, a lot of the interest in the modern community is around Samsung devices, mm-hmm. just for the fact that you get a skin that's pure Android. More so than like Xiaomi? Or... Yeah, more so than like Xiaomi, okay. because at least Xiaomi offers a decent amount of hardware. Mm-hmm. So, and oddly enough, there's a lot of interest in routing OnePlus phones. Oh yeah, but I suppose that... those easy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, modders like, were snapping up the OnePlus 6 the moment the 6T got announced. People were just snapping up the OnePlus 6. It was like, okay, that's going to be the last OnePlus phone with the headphone jack. I want yeah. that, and I'm going to make that last forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And because there's so much perform- performance on offer, mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. much more overhead in terms of what you can do at a custom ROM level. I think for me, that I'm, I, I rooted my HTC uh, Desire back in the day because it was so close yeah. to the, ne- the Nexus 1. You could get ROMs that were very, very close to that Nexus right. experience. After that, I think... It was pretty much just just getting these early like hacked leaks, but leaked yep. builds. So I think there were some some versions of Jelly Bean and KitKat that leaked out that you basically had to root because there were these weird Google versions of the firmware that you need to go around the security to load. Uh, I never really after like the Galaxy Nexus days where you had Android 4.0, which was a huge step up in a lot of ways. Uh, I didn't really bother with with like rooting on, on my day to day phones after that. 
How about you? Um, last time I rooted a foam was the Nexus 5 Extra Try Substratum. That was in 2016. Yeah. or I, I want to say 2016 or 2017. I want to say that. 2013 for me. It's been, it's been a while since I got into that. And I'm... That sort of brings us to what I think is mainly a conclusion between all of us, that if you are rooting these days, it's probably on a secondary device. Yeah. Uh, it's probably on something, you know, if you're the kind of person that uses mobile payments, that likes to watch anything that includes DRM. Uh, if you're not just, you know, completely open source software on, you know, everything, which some people are, and that's fine, but I think for the average person, probably the, the reasons to root have really been sort of di diminishing over the past few years, right? Yeah, we, uh, beforehand, we were, Russell... Holly and I were talking about this. He uh, he mentioned that uh, ad blocking is one of right, the few right. big reasons that people still want to root their device, and and I can see that, and uh, I see the appeal there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then what Harish brought up is Samsung phone mid range phones. They don't have the greatest hardware, but it's still a nice phone, and yeah. you can get much better performance out of it. But going back to the system updates, considering there are still a lot of people that they've had their phone for a couple of years now, they just want to get it to last like a little bit longer. Sure. And rooting and putting on a ROM that actually will get your phone up to the latest version of Android. Right. I could or see the that. latest security. Or the latest right. security update, because yeah. phones have just still been kind mm -hmm. of bad and horrible about that for some manufacturers. Yeah, I mean, you had CyanogenMod back in the day. Um, you have, what's the name of it now? Lineage. Lineage, Lineage OS, which yeah. is still, uh, it's available for a bunch of devices, and they have the, the latest updates, whereas... You mentioned mid-range Samsung phones. Chances are, you know, it's very unlikely you have the latest update on there. So, yeah. even if you sacrifice the ability to do anything that involves DRM, maybe it's more secure for you because yeah. you have those regular updates coming out. Absolutely. So, actually, you get modules like Magisk that let you uh, hide the fact that the phone is rooted for mm -hmm. particular apps. But that's kind of this cat and mouse game, isn't yeah. it? Over the over the years. Yeah. Um, so. So that's going to wrap it up from us here. The answer probably to whether you should root your Android phone in 2019 for most of us is going to be a no. Nope. Um, but stick with us. We'll have much more coverage from everything Android here in 2019. So thanks for watching, and we will all see you next time.